Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna get a bit more creative and play around with some layers and masks in the editor module. And we're gonna create something called the sticker effect. And that looks something like this. So let's get to it. So this tutorial isn't about creating just some random photo like this one or this one, but rather it's just another exercise uh, with layers and masks in the editor module. It's a known fact that repetition is the mother of skill. So doing a mundane task like this over and over and over again will just help you in the future and create a nice foundation on which you can create more difficult tasks later. So to start off with, you'll need a picture of the object you wanna create a sticker from. And I'm going to use the, the hand of my colleague here and a classic thumbs up. And to make it more interesting, I thought we'd include a second picture, which is just a crumpled piece of paper here. I'll show you how it'll look later on. And uh, you can either take a picture of a crumpled piece of paper yourself, or you can find something on the net, it's up to you. So let's get to it. Select the object you want and move over to editor. We'll worry about the crumpled piece of paper later. Right now we just need to figure out this first step. So I need to use the magnetic lasso and select and uh, isolate the object I want to use, which in this case is my colleague's arm and the iconic thumbs up. So I'm gonna select that slowly. Make sure you take your time here as you want it to be somewhat precise so that it looks good in the end. Okay, as soon as you got it all selected, click on the mask here and hit add selection to mask. And now you should only see the object itself and the rest is hidden underneath the mask like this. And now we've got to add a white layer. So just click on the arrow next to add layer here, click on place colored layer. And as you can see, I've already got the whitest over here selected, so just hit okay. If your screen looks like this, then don't worry because you're on the right path. And we need to take this layer and place it underneath the thumbs up sign. So simply click and drag it underneath like this. Next, move up here to selection and click on modify selection. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to alter the edges a little bit. So I'm going to expand this slider here of the stretch and shrink just around here to about 16. I think that's fat enough. And as you can see, the edges have increased from where they were at before. So hit okay. Next, let's go back to mask. And what we just did here, we have to add that to the mask. So hit add selection to mask. All right, so we're almost there. Now we just need to add that layer with the crumpled paper and we already know how to do that. So just click again on the arrow here next to the add layer except this time we're gonna choose paste from file. I've already have them prepared here, but if, uh, if yours isn't ready right when this dialog opens up, just go ahead and classically find it on your computer. So I'm gonna select our crumpled piece of paper, hit open, and we'll need to place this layer in front of all of the layers we currently have. So we'll do that just by moving this in front of everything we have there currently, like this. And now we just move to this drop down menu here and select multiply. Now all we gotta do is just move that paper around a bit to make it look just a little bit more realistic and kind of, you know, just better. So I think somewhere like this looks fine like this. Okay, so once you've got it selected, which I think we do, just go right back here to mask and hit add selection to mask. And there you have it. We've got our sticker effect complete. Boom. So there you have it. That's how you create a sticker looking effect in Zoner Photo Studio. What you can do now is save it and even print it onto some kind of sticky paper, cut it out and stick it on your favorite items like the fridge, your dog, maybe your car. And uh, if you like this video, I'd be interested to see what sort of projects you guys came up with. 
And of course, this video is just to help you solidify with your knowledge in the editor module with layers and masks, as this will help you with your foundation of playing around with more complicated projects later on. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope to see you next time. Have a good one, stay safe, and take care.